Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm reading from the book of Job, chapter 42 and verse number 12 and verse number 13. So the Lord blessed the later end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camel, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she asses. He has also seven sons and three daughters. Hallelujah. We started talking about the fact that any man that is ahead of you, if you wash him very well, you will learn why he's ahead of you. So we saw Job as someone who was ahead of his mate, who was ahead of his contemporary. So we're trying to learn something from him here. And the secret we read yesterday in that same book of Job in chapter 29, verse number 3. He said, as I was, when the candle of God shine upon my head, not my heart, my head. The spirit of man is the candle of God. But when the candle of God now shine on your head, then you are bound to prosper. You can replicate whatever the enemy takes away from you. So we saw the case here, how Satan took away the wealth of Job. Yet, he came back and doubled. So God wants to double whatever trouble you have with a double prosperity. I can't hear your amen to that. But So we're going in depth to what God did, how God helped Job with the power to get wealth. There's a power to get wealth. And that power is what Job was talking about here when he said, when the candle of God shined upon my head, and then when by his light I walk through darkness. Now, it takes the candle of God and the light of God to prosper. If you want to prosper as a believer, anywhere, anytime, in whatever you do, in God's kingdom, is just the function of the candle of God. So the power to get well is the candle of God and the light of God on your head to walk through the darkness. Why? What is that talking about? We're going to go and open it up today. In the book of Genesis chapter number 1 verse number 26, God started at the beginning when he wanted to create man. He created man first in this format. The Bible said in the scripture, God said, let us create man in our own image and according to our likeness. So, man was made in an image. Man was created to function in an image. Man was created to function in likeness. So, when Job said, when the candle of God shine on my head, he's talking about allowing the purpose and the power of God for creating man to function in your mind. Every one of us, born again or not born again, are created like a camera. So, you are a camera. Your head is a camera. Your life is to function as a camera. Now, what is a camera? Whatever zoom or whatever light system that makes a camera take picture, all right? All the camera, all the pictures you've ever seen on earth are always in the past because technology can only take the present and produce it in the past. If I take a picture of you in one second and show you, it's already in the past. But God created man ahead to be a camera that can take future, which no technology has been able to do. You are a powerhouse. You have the ability to picture what your future is going to look like and replay. So when John said, when the candle of God shine on my head, is the ability for you to see in the eyes of God into the future of your prosperity and come out with an image. So an image and likeness is your best shot to prosper. You can have a picture of poverty and prosper. I like to enlighten more on this when I come tomorrow, but I like you to write it under here. I can only future in my mental picture. The picture I have in my head determine the money I have in my hand. I'll see you tomorrow. It's getting interesting. God bless you.